Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another reading, guys. Hanging with Meg Good Vibe. She's just doing her thing. We are on to do some messages around the Divine Masculine Collective, okay? So whoever's tuned in for this reading, universe, you know who is watching. I just ask that you kindly provide clarity on their journey. What's going on with the Divine Masculines? Okay, what are some major themes going on on their journey right now? Some of you may already intuitively know this, like you might just be like attracted to the title of the reading or you could just know for a fact that it's confirmation that you know what you know, like this is truly what's going on with this person, you can feel it, you've been shown in some way. All right, what's going on with the masculine collective that they wish to communicate? What's going on with the masculine collective that they wish to communicate? So we have shadow side, moon, the dark night, okay? And then we also have sabotage and guilt. So like this energy has been coming up a lot, you know, several readings that's been showing up for many of you where someone like fumbled the connection, okay? So someone's in a lot of deep regret. They might feel guilty over some of the choices that they've made or like, you know, like do you guys remember when I shared the reading about like making a bad choice? Like someone feels like they made a bad decision. Um, they drop the ball. Um, they might be really silent now. Um, watching you from afar um, I feel that there's some days or there's some nights where this person might get impulsive or they might really long for you and they'll try to contact you from like big numbers emails um, and I also brought up to like a lot of them could be sending you anonymous gifts and things like that okay but I feel like it's stirred a, a dark night or you've maybe revealed um, an aspect of their shadow side to them because this guilt and this like sabotage for me and like the idea of you two being separated or them watching you from afar like it gives off the energy of someone who like you've drawn a firm boundary okay and now this person feels a lot of regret because they don't have any access to you and they have real feelings for you which is why they're even feeling this guilt okay they feel like they sabotage the connection sabotage as well tells me like there's an acknowledgement that they know that they they fumble things or they messed up in some way okay they also feel foolish or they could be like their belly hurts over it you know just a, like a lot of deep regret over like i'm hearing having too like having too much fun you know, someone got carried away having too much fun. They were feeling too nice. And it's like they might have, yeah, they might have let you go or, you know, like I'm hearing too, like it's it's also you, like whoever's watching this reading, okay? Um, like, it's like you are, you are the cause of this separation and like the dark night of the soul that they're going through right now because you definitely like put up some kind of boundary or you might have exchanged like harsh words or thrown harsh words or really cold mm -hmm. words at someone and it speaks a lot of truth like i'm hearing you spoke a lot of truth maybe even without holding back which is why they're feeling some of this guilt um but yeah i definitely feel some heavy energy around these cards okay um what is this person doing to help themselves through the dark night to process the guilt? Okay, we have the devil card. So the devil card could be a part of these feelings, like these sabotage. Like this could be a person feeding themselves a lot of negative thoughts, really beating themselves up. Um, I'm seeing too, like with the devil card here, especially in this deck, um... Like, everybody has to go through their own shit. <laughs> so, I feel like the, the the devil card here is like, it's almost explaining that, you know, these two cards here are a direct result of our actions. And we only invite the devil's energy in, which is like the dark knight. Um... <clears throat> like seeing that shadow side of ourself the devil energy representing like you know the darkness within us within everyone sometimes 
um, you know, making mistakes or making bad choices. And I feel like, you know, you see how they're kind of holding that string. Um, it's kind of like the same depiction here of what's going on with this particular masculine is that like it's almost like they're paying their dues for for fumbling you in the way that they did and it's okay guys like I you know there's no shame like I know that many of you might have you know gone through some crazy situations with your divine masculine it's so interesting that they're holding their head in both these pictures eh? like how random is that this bottom picture here of them holding their head and then this card coming out with them doing the same thing but yeah like I, i'm hearing like some of them might have like like really disrespected some of you or just treated you in a way that was really careless or it made you feel very dismissed or you might have been really shocked by that because it, you really thought that you meant something more or the time that you spent together meant something or the experiences that you had meant something um and i feel like whoever your person is they were just having way too much of a good time and now the devil energy is coming in with a lot of experiences that almost seem like the karma that they're paying for being so careless with someone else's feelings okay because i feel like your person might have been very much aware of of their actions but they decided to take the actions anyway and now you know what i'm getting from this card it's so interesting but it's like you know i'm seeing the devil energy here almost laughing like don't feel sorry for this person like they invited me in you know um and i maybe some of you are like i don't feel sorry for them like this is justice <laughs> Um, and then some of you might be thinking like, oh man, it sucks that my person's going through this. Cause I know energetically on the twin flame journey, it's like you feel aspects of your person's, um, like moods and, and, and certain things like that. Um, so it's like, you know, you kind of have that compassion, but I do feel like, like whatever they're going through, um, all is well, um, because it's like they've invited it in. Um, you know, it's like you tamper with certain things and it's like there's consequences or there's, there's, there's certain consequences to certain actions and I feel like your person took a risk here. And the thing is, is like a lot of you are, are, are good, genuine people, you know? So it's like this person is learning really harsh lessons just by meeting you just by you exchanging your time and energy with them. I feel like a lot of you too, because we have the Ten of Cups coming out. And what I'm getting from this Ten of Cups is like, you might have you might have given a lot to this person genuinely, which is why the devil energy is coming down so hard on them right now. Okay. Um, but just know through this reading, like whether you guys want to hear it or not, like this person's going through a lot Okay, because the dark night, along with the guilt and sabotage, the devil energy, like I'm seeing someone who is very depressed, okay, caught up in their thoughts. And also, um, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing someone who knows that the reason they're going through the things that they're going through is because of what they've done. So that's why their energy may feel very heavy around you, because they could be thinking about you a lot. Okay, what does the universe want you to know about this whole situation? Like, what are you learning from this? Or what do you need the insights about? What do you need to know about this person thinking about you a lot at this time? You as the listener, what do you need to know? Okay, because I said you as the listener, of course, we have signs coming out. So you could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth sign, or the person that you're connecting to when you think of this reading. They could be the Earth sign here, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be, but I feel like it's coming up. We also have the word Ace as well. So that's a positive sign with the Devil card because it means that the cycle is going to get renewed. Eventually, the Dark Knight subsides. It always does. We get a fresh start. Um, so the fresh start is coming here but i feel like what's most apparent to this person right now they're longing for you because they fumbled the ten of cups 
like they they were so clumsy that they spilled a lot of cups and lost a lot of whatever was in that cup it was very valuable right it made their world full of color full of peace peace of mind and now they're without that peace of mind with the devil card here showing up we have someone who is kicking themselves in the butt over the separation and how much they're longing for you okay because i feel like they didn't expect you to maybe pull away like you did um it's like you know when you you make a stupid investment that's how i feel like this person's feeling like they feel like they're at such a loss um let's get a card from the romance angels about their heart's desires for you okay their heart's intentions okay behind it all what's behind this longing and separation card how is this person feeling in their heart space for you from like a genuine place Okay, so we have new love coming up again, okay? A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. <sighs> I'm wanting to say with this particular card, because of all of the guilt and the sabotage, that they're seeing new love enter your life, or they know that it's coming, um, or they, they see you doing this, like they, they can feel it, or they could be afraid of this in the separation. They're longing for you because... They could be worried about a new person stirring your romantic feelings. I'm also hearing too, they know that you deserve it. Like they know that you deserve someone who is going to take care of you. And this could be a person as well who is just devastated because they know that maybe part of their karma is going to have to be like literally physically watching you enjoy happiness with someone else, especially during a time where it's like they've had that epiphany or they've had that realization that you are what they wanted um you know this is someone giving in to devil energies giving in to lower vibrational things that maybe feel good in the moment um but then when you you know kind of wake up the next day it's like oh man what the hell did i do like a lot of regret you know very like nine of swords energy like you know hand smacked to the face like jeez what did i do um but yeah, um, this is a message that's coming in to let you guys genuinely know like this is how they're feeling in the heart space, okay? Uh, new love, like they know that... I'm, I'm seeing it a lot of different ways because I just heard another message as well, like they're wanting to be a new love for you or they're wanting to know if there's possibility of new love. If they show up as a new person, could they possibly stir romantic feelings within you? Okay, maybe the thought or the idea of picturing you with someone else makes them want to like I'm hearing like be what you desire okay because I feel like what it is you desire with this whole ten of cups energy is someone like who's loving like someone who is honest authentic okay this person has has always had a really hard time being that way okay you can see it as well in like the company that they keep and the lifestyle that they live um, it's like wearing a mask, right? Like, okay, I'm hearing the words like being a coward, like being a coward to be your true self, caring too much about what other people think, uh, relying too heavily on other people's opinions, you know, going in the direction of the crowd. It's like, this is what they feel a lot of guilt about. It's like they sabotage them, their own selves. Because the thing is, is like once you ascend on this whole twin flame journey, um, you, you gain more knowledge, you gain more wisdom along the way. So I feel like you you have a person who's in a lot of regret because it's like as they ascend and wake up, now they're feeling really stupid for like listening to other people. It's like now they want to, you know, be autonomous and do their own thing. And, you know, they're their own soul creating their own experience. And, you know, before they didn't see that, right? And I feel like you kept walking along your journey and little by little you kept finding this out more and more pulling yourself further and further away from the crowd and now um you know like you're you're really operating on a different frequency and this person is really really dying to catch up but right now they feel stuck in the dark night of the soul energy but i feel like it'll pass you know um what's coming up for this person 
after the dark night of the soul passes. What's coming up for your person after the dark night of the soul passes? What are you doing stretching out your little feet, huh? You're too cute. You're <laughs> too cute. What's coming up for your person after the dark night of the soul passes? So we have action, courage, Jupiter, and beginnings. Okay, so it will pass. Okay, there's some type of action that they need to take, though, definitely, in order for it to pass, you know, some kind of test. <laughs> because, again, this devil energy is, like, calling them in, inviting them in. They're going to have to take some kind of courage, um, have the courage to walk through the dark night of the soul is what I'm getting. Because we have the dark night, and you literally have this person with a torch ready to walk through the dark night, okay? So it's like having the courage to do those things like, you know, be autonomous, create your own experience, stand up to other people, put people in their place. Um, you know, it's like that whole do no harm but take no shit type of thing, okay? I feel like your person is taking their time to get into this energy, but they're going to do it. They'll get over it. They'll find the courage. And then the new beginnings, um, I guess we'll have to save that one for another reading. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, maybe I'll do it in the next one. You guys take it easy and I'll uh, catch you again. Okay. Bye.